flying off on a plane. I wish it was me. <laughs> and Auntie, I was just reading my new magazine that they deliver at the hairdresser every week, and there it was. A chance to go on a real cruise. <laughs> I was saving money to buy a car, but then I thought, a chance like this only comes once in a lifetime. So there I called my best friend from high school, Phoebe, and I was like, girl, pack your bags. We're going on a real cruise. Don't ask any questions, and as they say, the rest is history. I hope you have a fabulous time. Take lots of pictures to come and show us. Yeah, Auntie, I'm going to take mm -hmm. my brother's fancy camera and I'm going to capture all the moments. <laughs> now, Auntie, thank you so much for bringing me your scale. <laughs> my one has just about had it. Now, I hear that they're so strict with how much your suitcase weighs that if it's too heavy, they make you unpack right then and there in front of everybody at the airport. And I will just die if that happened to me. I hope you don't. <laughs> anyway, it's my pleasure. I'm so sorry you have to go and repack. <laughs> well, Auntie, I'd rather do it now than at the airport, you know. <laughs> but anyway, I've got to run. It's my last day at work before we leave, and I've got a million things to do. So I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye, Auntie. <laughs> have a great time on your holiday. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, I must say, I've never seen Beauty this excited. And so she should be. I mean, it is once in a lifetime experience for most people to go on a grand holiday. <laughs> but oh my, she has to go and do some serious repacking. <laughs> Hi, Lips. What's the matter, my girl? Oh, it's just so tough being a kid. You have to carry your heavy school bag with all your books in, plus extra books. What extra books? Well, we have to do an assignment for today, and our teacher said we must each have at least three library books to show where we got our information from. Oh, poor child. Hey, is this a scale? Oh, yes. It is my bathroom scale. I wonder how much my bag weighs. You actually mean mess. Like massive. Oh, not quite. Mess is actually what we're talking about when we talk about how much things weigh. Then what's weight? Weight is a quantity that scientists worked with and has to do with gravity and all that. And that's way too complicated to go into now. You know what, Lips? You will learn about it in science one day. Now tell me, you say your school bag is very heavy. How many kilograms would you say your school bag weighs? Well, I'd say that my bag's like a hundred kilograms. <laughs> Come on, Lips. You could never carry anything with a mass of hundred kilograms. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's almost twice as much as I weigh. Can you imagine carrying one of me under each arm? Oh, no way! Well, maybe you can carry something as big as this for just a minute. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Ow, just about. I'd say this is 45 kilograms at most. So, is the basket heavier or much lighter than your bag? <laughs> much lighter. <laughs> So now, put the scale on a level surface. That is very, very important, my girl. See that the pointer is at the zero mark as well. Okay. Ready. Let's weigh the bag and the basket. Mm. Well, why not just weigh one for a start? 
when we know what its mass is, you can rethink your estimation and can change it if you want to. I've never worked with one of these scales before. They have so many spaces in between the numbers. So these must be for those little units smaller than a kilogram. What do you call them again? Grams, my girl. There are 1,000 of them in one kilogram. Oh, yes. <laughs> now I remember, kilo means a thousand. Kilometer, kilogram. It looks like one of the number lines we've looked at before. <laughs> now, let's take a look at how this number line works. Come. until we get to 10, and then we'll be at the kilogram mark. You are so clever, my girl. That is exactly why we can say 100 gram is one-tenth of a kilogram. <laughs> so now we know what all the little lines in the scale are for. <gasps> Let's weigh my bag. Let me help you. Good. It's only six kilograms, so it's out by 94 kilograms. Let's weigh this book now. I estimate this book will be five kilograms. Well, let's see. It's three kilograms. <laughs> well, look, we are right in time. Right in time for what, Auntie? Well, Wiz and I have a surprise visit planned for today. <laughs> so, Let's head over to the hole in the wall. Wicked. Let's go. <laughs> how's it, how's it? I am so stoked about today. We are going to visit the Johannesburg International Airport. How cool is that? Let's go. Wow. I love coming to the airport. All these people. I like to try and imagine where they are all going and where they're coming from. But the real reason we are here is to look at how they weigh the luggage. They weigh every suitcase and every bag that goes in every plane. See the number coming up on the screen? That is the mass of the suitcase. Now everything after the comma is also 100 grams. The same as the little lines showing 100 grams on Auntie's scale. And just as you need 10 100 gram lines to get a kilogram, you count 0, 1, 0, 2, and so on, up until you get one kilogram. Let's go find out why it is so important. Well, there's two reasons why we weigh luggage. Uh, one goes about the weight of the aircraft. The aircraft's designed to carry a certain amount of weight that's covered in its fuel, the people on board, and how much luggage you're putting on or freight you're putting on. You don't want to overload the aircraft because otherwise it will never get airborne. The second reason is an aircraft is obviously a weight and balance. You don't want too much luggage in the nose or too much weight in the nose, otherwise the nose will dip. Or you don't want too much uh, weight into the back of the aircraft, especially then on rotation when she takes off, the tail might drag on, on the ground. So it's it, it, that's the two reasons why we would weigh luggage. Wow! Now this is one place where the mass of stuff is really important. That was pretty wicked, don't you think? It's pretty cool to learn about all that stuff. I hope I will fly in one of those big planes one day to the Amazon or Antarctica or some other totally rad place. Well, time for me to duck. 
So I'll check you on the flip side. I'm out of here. <laughs> I think it would be awesome to fly a plane one day. I think I'm going to become a pilot. <laughs> I think it could be very nice to see the world. <laughs> oh, I can't believe the afternoon is over already. Oh. Well, I feel a little tired. I think it might be from carrying this heavy bag all day. Oh, Shay, my girl. Then it's a good thing it's time to go home. Oh, please, don't forget to take back your book. Oh, yes, I'll be in <laughs> big trouble at the library if I don't return this one. <laughs> Hello, Brastexi. Hello, my little princess. Hello, Uncle Stax. You look a little tired today. Has it been a long day? Well, it's just that I've been lugging this uh, hey. heavy bag all day. Hey, mm. let me help you there. No, 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 no. It's quite heavy. Yes, Uncle Stax. It weighs six kilos. We worked out the mass on Auntie's bathroom scale. Sounds like we had an interesting afternoon again. Yes, Uncle Stax. Wiz took us on a trip to the Johannesburg International Airport, where she showed us how important it is to know the mass of everything that goes onto the plane. Sounds like it wasn't a bad day at all. I guess. But let's get you home. You can have a rest. Okay, Uncle Stax. Bye, Auntie. Bye, Liz. Okay. Bye, Brastex. Drive safely. Shop shop on the suit tomorrow, same time, same place. <laughs> wow, that truck is huge. Look at how slowly it's going. It must be carrying a very heavy load. You know, my little princess, just like with the aeroplane, these big trucks can only carry a certain mass. If their load is too heavy, they can get into trouble with the traffic cops. How do they know how heavy a truck is? Well, they have these special scales at places called weigh bridges. The truck has to stop right on the scale and then they can weigh the total mass of the truck. If the truck is too heavy, they must pay a fine. But why? Eesh. If a truck is too heavy, it can do very bad damage to the road, like making potholes. And heavy trucks can cause bad accidents. I'm glad the traffic cops are looking out for the other people on the road. It is also much safer for the truck drivers. So it is better for everyone if the trucks are not overloaded. Well, here we are, safe and sound. Thanks for the ride, Uncle Stex. See you tomorrow. Perhaps they can use the one they used to weigh trucks, remember? <laughs> That's a very good idea, Lebo. Look, you are home, my little princess. Thanks for the ride, Uncle Stex. See you tomorrow. I had such a nice day. I really enjoyed my afternoon sweep lips. <laughs> I feel lighthearted and happy. <laughs> well, I hope you also have a wonderful evening. <laughs> From me, see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Oh, can we working it out, thinking around?